Hey YouTube, if you're a subscriber to our channel or a regular viewer, you may have seen me do some of our competition videos, and this is why we do it. For us, beginning our homestead is just a part of our journey of living what we consider to be a responsible adult lifestyle. We want to live in a manner that makes us more self-reliant and less dependent on others. The livestock we raise, the food we grow, and our steps to be prepared for what may come is just a form of security to make sure that our needs are provided for. One other area of security that we have to consider is self-defense. It's defense of myself and my family when we're in public, it's defense of my family when we're here at home, and it's defense of our homestead livestock against predators. That defense comes with a price. You can't just own a gun. You need to train with it, and you need to practice with it. I've taken many training courses over the past couple of years. Some I've talked about in videos on this channel. Others predate this channel. Training is something that you need to seek out and make time for. Competition is not a substitute for good training. But what is competition good for? For me, what competition is good for, though, is practicing a certain set of skills in an amped up environment. It's a different kind of stress than a self-defense situation would be, but that being said, it's one of the best substitutes for stress that we can come up with that can be done inexpensively, on a regular basis, and local to where you are. You are going to be put under pressure to complete a course of fire on a timer with a set of rules that engage your mind on something other than pulling the trigger and you're gonna have an audience, even if that audience is just the 10 other shooters that you're shooting with. Participating in regular competitions is something I do so that I can have time manipulating my gun and practicing those skills and making them part of my subconscious reactions. I'm not as good as many other shooters that I shoot with, but I'm way better than I was when I started doing competitions three years ago. The improvements I've seen are that the machinations of my gun handling skills are second nature now. My brain runs the shooting course, my body runs the gun. If you are ever in a self-defense shooting, that's the advantage you are going to need to prevail. Your body needs to react in a manner in which it runs the gun and your brain runs the fight. These fights are lightning fast and your reactions need to be automatic. Remember, a gunfight is a competition. You are on the clock against another individual or multiple individuals. Your skills, your quickness are going to matter. The guns I shoot are my carry guns. I don't have a fancy race gun like many other shooters have. I treat the competitions as a way to be able to practice my skills with the guns that I carry every day. Besides needing to have your mind and body ready for action, competitions are just really, really fun. The folks shooting at your local club matches are great folks just like you. Our club is always looking to improve the amount of new shooters that come to our matches. The more of us there are, the more fun the matches are. You are going to learn a ton about yourself and where your shortcomings are. Those things are the things you need to practice on. Being put on a timer and having that pressure on you is very humbling the first couple of times. Just remember that everyone out there with you was a first time shooter at one time themselves and they know how you feel. The key is to be safe, improve over time, and continue to practice and work on the things that need improvement. All right, everyone, I'm gonna wrap up there. Please click here to watch me shoot this last weekend's match. Please give us a thumbs up below if you like the video or click below to subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you all for watching. I am the Tactical Homesteader and we'll see you next time.